other story. What about oh. the natural animals on there? You've got four natural The um, the bad yes, there's, there, there's a lot of there, there is a lot of planning and order. When I look at this it just looks like a big colorful mess to me and and yet I tried to put things in, in a certain way. So every quadrant does have a naturalistic image of a natural winged creature. We have a dragonfly up here with the Hindu section, a butterfly with the Native American, a bat with the Egyptian, and a European kestrel, a very colorful mm -hmm. bird, uh, over in the Judeo-Christian corner. In addition, there are these line drawings of mythical winged creatures, which are uh, an integral part of each one, but those two elements are not connected thematically in any way that I could divine to the other images. There's there's nothing Native American about that butterfly or the four-headed leopard. A four-headed winged leopard. Uh, I wish I could remember where that was. It was some kind of woodcut. Uh, I think like 16th century. Is Biblical, wasn't it? I mean, wasn't yeah. there a, a, the, uh, it's like the, the head of the leopard on one of the one of the critters from uh, Revelation, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. yeah, it's something like that, or maybe, maybe been Isaiah. And and Daniel uh, was, uh, uh, and uh, and this uh, this winged lion was actually a companion piece to this one. And, and there there were people in these as well. I. I'm thinking maybe it was Daniel, maybe it was Isaiah, Revelation, I don't know, but there was there was a whole scene there and I just cut out the, the winged creatures. Um, so tell us about that middle picture there. The the big oval is uh, the ascension of Mary Magdalene, mm. which I I put two copies together. It you know, it's yeah. just a, an arch thing. Magdalene? Yeah. Mary Magdalene, yeah. Being a being a good a, Gnostic. Apparently, you know, you I to I didn't slam Mary into further, heaven, but that was like anybody a named Mary gets to go to hell. Think of the yeah, it does depend on the tradition. Uh, uh, like like you said, yeah, Joseph with the Gnostic faith. Uh, I think it actually was. And I think the was the at that time. Uh, oh, I couldn't tell you for uh, sure. So, anyway, okay. I'm, I'm sure that, as I think Terry mentioned, uh, you know, we can't ever sell these things. This was an image that I had to do a screen capture on because, of course, they, the, the museum where this was did not want you getting an image of this. They mm -hmm. wanted you to be able to see it but not have it. But I took it anyway. Did, did yeah. you already talk about this, that this is medieval? Because it looks very much like some illuminated manuscript. Yeah, that's, that's from a manuscript. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it shows uh, Elijah in the wilderness uh, uh, being ministered to by an angel. Oh, see, I would have thought it was Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I thought it was Mohammed. I thought it was, I thought it was Eid al-Fitr. That's what Eid al-Fitr always looks like. So Muhammad's asleep in a cave and an angel comes to him and wakes him up and he says, fuck off, leave me alone. And then she comes back and says, you, no, you ha you're the one. You're the one that has to do this and teaches him the song. Hmm. Hmm. So that's the, that's, that's the way it always looks. That's what I thought it was. I just had never seen... Adolf Hitler that comes to no, no, the, <laughs> no it's, it's just an angel. It's an angel later attributed to be Gabriel, but it's at the time Muhammad said it was a woman, a female angel. So mm -hmm. I we don't know that about Gabriel generally. The general population doesn't believe that Gabriel is a is a girl. Right? We all there's a long tradition of discussing the qualities of angels, right? Right. Gender might be part of that discussion. Uh, yeah. And how many can stand on top of the pin? Right, right. And and a lot fewer men can dance on the head of a pin than okay. women angels. So that's that's why most of the angels turn out to be women. <laughs>
because men can't dance. Because men can't dance. dance. Well, they don't men got no sense of rhythm at all. Men can yeah. dance. In the first place, they're all white. See, so. Paul, I'd like to know how you tie all this back into your tie. I, I chose the tie this morning to go with the collage <laughs> rather than the other way around. <laughs> Uh, I said, oh, I should have, I should have put that in there. But, um, so you're well, mounting up. It's a vehicle for for. And this is the Hebrew that you did along the edges. Yes. Um, did that transfer thing work the way you were hoping? Uh, it worked better on a piece of practice paper. The minor imperfections in the surface here oh. uh, made it come out quite uh, biblical. irregularly. It, biblical is, yeah. a, is the term. Yes, I, I was yeah. telling. That's why nobody knows what it says in the Bible. E exactly. I, I just hard decided to, to accept it like the many other things that didn't turn out the it's way hard to write. <laughs> it's just a symbol of the, the, the frailty of textual transmission. Right. Mm -hmm. You, you, this is exactly the kind of thing that people are looking at trying to figure out what in the world did they write down a couple thousand years ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, only in the case of actually, I guess, the the Hebrew scripture, they, they carefully destroyed all the old ones so that we yeah. only have nice new yeah. copies from right. Printed on ways. printing presses. Uh, <laughs> so... I don't know what it means. For me, it became a task that I was desperate to complete because I start so many things that never get finished, and I thought, somehow I will finish this thing. And I anticipated that it would be... It reflects my ability to be very careful and pay a lot of attention to detail and try and get things just right, but that doesn't necessarily translate into majestic artistic vision. It's just a lot of little pictures glued down. So you didn't feel that you were winged? No, I Not felt I was. I felt that I was walking without fainting. I was. <laughs> 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 just trudging along, doing the best that I, I could. I think it's very enjoyable to look at. Well, yeah. thank you. So which way's up? Uh, <laughs> it's it's mostly oriented uh, this way. Uh, I, I do have some things that... Uh, I, it's just so hard for me to put things crooked or upside down. I just want things to be right. You know? These two are, are all centered, which is nice. Yeah. 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 Right. Really all, all of those are a little off-center, and all of the stamps are oriented toward the middle rather than toward the bottom of the, uh, of the thing. Did you put it on a stick to whirly like to have it blow in the wind? N no. Now, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> we could spin that around. What happened? It's uh, like it's winged. Yeah. Yeah, it could fly. The Hebrew runs right to left as it is supposed to, it, the verse is repeated four times, uh, and, and when it gets up here, it starts going upside down. So it starts here on the right and goes upside down there, going upside down, starting again. Yeah, that happens so. in the Bible, too, all the time. <laughs> it's just, um, so mostly it is oriented this way, but there are some things that spin it around in different directions, starting with the big birds going in four directions. Again, thank you, Foster. That's just a gorgeous picture. I fell in love with it when I saw it. It's just part of a calendar. It's just part of a calendar. <laughs>